Vamir is finally here, and if you didn't know, there was a lot of hubbub about if she's good, if she's bad, but we're gonna find out today. As you can see here, I have her to go basically after everyone else has gone in my fast cleave teams. She has 236 speed, she has around 19,000 HP, 1,500 defense. Uh, she has 190 effectiveness, so we can guaranteed or guaranteed land the death break and the sleep. That should be pretty impactful, and we have Buck on her because, well, she's a mage. She looks good. I... I'm focusing on something else other than the gameplay in this in this video. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I apologize. I I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Even she even if she loses, <laughs> I'm, I'm focused. I got something else. You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, let's get into it. Okay, so we can throw. We can put one character into the dirt. I don't know who that character is going to be. It's likely, I guess, going to be Moon Bunny. We have to go into Moon Bunny, I think, and then... Ooh, is it Moon Bunny? I guess Conqueror Lilius doesn't matter too, too much. We just have to skill three here. Okay, okay. If I get the skill three, that's fine. Okay, I apologize. It's our first game. I think Vamir should be totally fine, right? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I didn't need that. I didn't need that. I didn't need it. I didn't need it. I didn't need it. Vamir's gonna put everyone to sleep. And so long as so long as everyone gets put to sleep, that should be fine. At, at best, he gets what? He, uh, surely he gets Moon Bunny. Moon Bunny? Nice. Huge, 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 huge. Okay. So, this is the part where I S1 onto the Moon Bunny. Nice. Oh, wait. Elagos gets the book. Okay. Or he, he puts out his thing. Uh, Okay. Slow. She has three stacks, right? This might actually do some good damage. Don't get so, okay, if we use Fumir S3, big fix damage. Everyone gets put to sleep and defense broken. Big finish! Oh my god, and skill two onto the. Wait, what? He has attack bomb. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. This is perfect tuning though. Flamir just put everyone to sleep. There's a defense break. We could one shot onto the onto the abyssal Euphine. She's all the way in the back. She's slowed. From Leica, of course. Surely if we just Okay, okay. We're gonna do enough damage. Even through a miss crit, this is probably going to one shot. And then she revives. And oh wait! It was proof of valor! So there was no holy sack! Okay, okay. You want me to do anything else? <laughs> Looks like you can get away with this trap. Uh, oh, what? My Gala Lilius went first? What in the name? Okay, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so Gala goes first. We have Knockwall go second. And then all we really need to do is have Fumir take her turn. And then everyone goes to sleep, right? Not a huge fan of that. Um, so interesting, interestingly enough, if I just decide to S2 here, oh, and my opponent. please stop. Come three counters. I did three hits. What do you mean? Okay, okay. Uh. Um, okay, okay, okay. So, if we just put everything to sleep, we should be fine. Famir puts Emma Landy to sleep. Go to sleep, 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 and death break. Go to sleep, 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 and death break. Perfect, perfect. Everyone is sleeping. Okay. Get out of my way, S1. Perfect crit. Everyone's alive. Oh my god. Even with. Even with literally God on his side, he could not win. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. With all the power in the world, he was still not able to win. And so long as we get this S3, and even if it doesn't crit. Yep, yep. Good enough, good enough. Okay, admittedly, Gala Lily is outspeeding was not the play. Somehow my knockwall got outsped. I'm gonna make my knockwall faster because that was supposed to be knockwall turn one. Anyways, let's continue. Really? 
Okay, so it's cleave day part two. All I need to do is just get the chains of Chiron. If everything gets stunned, we are a-okay. We're cooking. Per I'll take your life. Kind of thought I would cut. Hmm. That's okay. They're still technically stunned, so... Famir gets to take a turn, and then we we sleep for the second half. We sleep for the second half of the turn. Wait, this is such a genius plan, actually. Okay, so look, we don't have to worry too, too badly about this. We're just going to apply an S1 here, give ourselves speed buff, get immunity. That's fine. What we really need is a slow. So I'm going to apply a slow onto the Lilius, and the next time I take a turn, I should have enough stacks, actually... Oh, oh, nice. Another stun. Huge, huge, huge. Another huge stun. So the next time that my Famir takes a turn, which should not be that that long from now, we should be in a great spot. I reset. I reset the Karina. She can't press any buttons. Hopefully she also gets slept. I have 105 effectiveness. Smoggate, don't do this to me. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Just, just like how I wanted. And then the real star of the show is... Uh, the real star of the show is Sid, is what I was going to say. This is where this is where it gets dicey. So I should, in theory, be able to. Yep. Okay. We dealt with the Conqueror Lilius. That's fine. And Famir is coming. To be clear, make no mistake. Famir is going to put everyone to bed, and then Bing Bang Boom. Everyone gets reset, or everyone gets slept, and then the game's over. Right? Right. Shirley. Here we go. Go to sleep. 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 Sleep death break. Sleep death break. That's that's close and in all like let's be honest, right? Two turns, this is kind of close enough. Uh we can just get the one shot off of the the Yuffie here. No one is on Elbris anymore, right? Okay, he was on Elbris. Alright, that being said though, I mean there's so much control, he just can't move! All these characters are just Karina can't move, the Apoc can't move. I even made a I even made a gigantic misplay. And he just he's just gone. Apoc can't he's got she's got no combat right in his push. She's in purgatory, she's in jail. It doesn't matter if I misplay this can Okay, okay. Exaggeration. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Maybe it's just a fluke. Maybe it's just a fluke. Maybe the next game will be different. Okay, I know it looks kind of dicey. You're probably asking yourself, why exactly do you have Flitica and Fire Sherry? However, I was trying to make things work, and obviously they didn't. So here's what we're uh, here's what the plan is. We're going to reset. We're going to reset the Briar Witch Isiria, which means that she can't do anything more. So you know what? Haha, <laughs> go cry in the corner. And now we have the real Giga Chat of our team, Elagos, who should. Be able to push back the okay it's fine it's fine so elegos is going to shoot rimuru because we have the element advantage oh my god i'm trying to play like all the elements in my head right now who can hit and who can't like because like famir famir can't do anything to rimuru right because i have to guarantee the hit however despite everyone getting the hit chance it doesn't matter we push back we push back with the conqueror lilius get away from me and now, oh, I didn't think this through. Actually, if I use my skill three here. Okay, first off, we get a bomb onto the Aiden. That's huge. Oh, wait, I'm a genius. Wait, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. That was perfect. She was the perfect pusher backer. Okay, obviously, like, Elegos did pretty well there, but he banned out my Sid. Look at the draft. Look at the draft. Look at the draft. I was in a good spot. I was in a good spot. Elegos obviously got a win, but Famir was great. Famir was the, put, the exact push that I needed to get, you know, in order to, you know, do my damage with Shuri, get the push up, and we got to do all the Elegos bombs. CR pusher and slow. Not bad. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is... Potentially strip the escort more damage more bigger number. Oh and perfect. Okay, exactly exactly what I was thinking So we have the first turn and obviously what we're looking for with Famir is two turns She's gonna come at the end of my turn. So 
So long as I don't get beat up by ML Ken, we should be fine. We got provoked, but I did my job already. So like, who cares? Um, I have hit chance after I S3, right? Okay, yeah, okay. Looks fine. Okay, so actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Ken because then Sid can Solber or Sid can S3 here and then we should be in a great spot. Once I S3 here, uh, I think I'm pretty sure the Aiden, the Aiden should get one shot as well. Hopefully, even if the Aiden doesn't get one shot, watch this. I believe the change. Oh, this is, this is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. Watch this. Okay. Okay. So this is the perfect, this is the perfect example for as to why Famir is crazy i don't know if you guys saw the change to sleep but as it is right now you're probably thinking to yourself oh no like well what happens everyone gets slept everything gets defense broken and the new change that they just added to sleep is that if they're slept they have no more evasion so guess what in addition to the defense break i'm guaranteed to hit okay we're gonna just we're just gonna we're just gonna hit the cockra lilies here and then you know we'll just We'll just dual attack, but watch this hit from Sid! <laughs> Wait. Okay, maybe that change isn't maybe that change isn't in yet. I apologize. That's with the balance patch. Oops, okay, I forgot. It's but you know, once the balance patch comes, that's supposed to work. Okay? Sounds good, looks good anyways, right? Okay, anyways, guys, as you can see here, I am just using her as a bit of a debuffer. She's got 236 speed, 18, 19,000 HP, as you saw. And I, I'm assuming I could probably fit some sort of ER or F into this build. However, I was trying to cleave with her or, like, you know, use her as a backup sleep and everyone gets, you know, kind of riled up, gets one shot. It's a bunch of baloney and she doesn't... She's like our, she's our anchor. If you guys know what that, what that term means. Basically, what that means is that she's just going to be our backup, our, our emergency, our plan B, the person that you call Ghostbusters. In any case, I mean, Fumir looks pretty okay as it is right now. Obviously, you do need to set up with her, but I do think that a lot of the initial thoughts on her being good, bad, kind of feel like how people, or kind of feel a little unjust because a lot of people were saying the same, or you could say a lot of what you think about Commander Pavel with Famir, or that's kind of at least how it feels, but Famir is just two turn sleep, two turn defense break. You can run her on turn two, even if you don't end up getting it on your first turn. And if you want to run her slow, or if you want to, I guess, replicate anything that I did here today, it doesn't look that bad because in all honesty, some people just can't stop you from picking a red and a green character. And even if they do, Maybe the red characters are kind of strong. I don't know, guys. In any case, maybe I just maybe I just fought against a bunch of bad players. I'm not sure. But in any case, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, turn on the notification bell, subscribe. Let me know what you think of Famir, what build you have on her. I'm probably going to try her on like a, like a much, much slower build, see how good she is. But anyways, guys, make sure to check the rest of my socials. I'll see you on the next one. Adios.